When I got there, they had the scene very well secured. They had the entire block taped off. Front door wide open, little music playing in the background, candles are lit inside. Very violent confrontation, rage. Two victims, blood everywhere. We find a glove, it's a left glove and a blood trail indicating the suspect has been wounded on the left side. So we're just getting into this when we find out that this is apparently O.J. Simpson's estranged wife. We have two children asleep. They have a very brutal murder. Someone has got to make a death notification of next of kin, which is Simpson. Lang and Van Adder were talking, and they called me over and said, you were at Simpson's house once, right? We want you to take us up there. We pull close to the gate. Van Adder was hitting the doorbell. They keep ringing the doorbell, and so I just stroll down the street. By the other gate, there's a, a white Bronco. On the driver's side door handle, blood. I mean, there was enough evidence outside. We gotta make sure everybody's okay in here. Oh God, what are we gonna do? Simpson's in there dead. Well, yeah, we need to go in. So I jumped up over the fence and I opened the gate. Bang on the front door, nothing. We walk around to the back, there's a couple of bungalows. The first one was Cato Kalin's. Cato Kalin was a, a live-in friend. He said, we're the police, we're gonna check out on Mr. Simpson. Uh, OJ's in Chicago. Well, he left last night. He said, oh, thank God. They all leave, and I'm left here with Cato Kalin. They go, tell me what you did last night. He goes, well, I was talking on the phone, and all of a sudden, there was like an earthquake. It was just like on the wall, and the picture shook. OK? I walk back outside, and I start walking down the back, behind the bungalows. And then as I pan down, I see this brown glistening. At first, I thought it was dog crap. And then I shine the light on it, and it's a glove. Just like the one at Bundy. Uh, yeah, this is gonna get deep. This is gonna be a crime scene. 